on the inside, I am I am jumping for joy. I'm so excited for my team. Um, they found a way to win uh, in a hostile environment where there was, you know, tens of thousands of fans cheering against us. Um, back was to the wall a lot in that first half. Uh, we were, you know, out of possession for most of it. And then that second half, we came out and just really changed the tune. Um, getting that set piece goal was such a momentum shifter. Um, and then when we closed the game out, you know, I was really thankful to hear that final whistle blow. So then the other big question is, what did you say to the team at halftime that kind of made them come out, come out with a bit of a different look and, and kind of stirred up that uh, aggressiveness maybe and, and change of play there? I mean, I'm happy to see that you recognized it. It was, it was literally that we were not being aggressive enough in the press. And I thought that if we could change our press just a little bit um, and improve our aggressiveness, especially in our midfield where we kind of changed a bit of shape, um, just, a, just a slight bit. Uh, pulling back one of our our eight into more of a six holding role, um, you know that that really allowed us to keep better possession, and then the aggressiveness of the team and in, in all of our tackles, just winning the ball back, um, that was much improved, and I think that that's why you saw us with more of the ball in the second half. And then lastly, for me, you kind of mentioned this already, but first win on the road. Um, what does this mean for you guys? Because I know getting results on the road is, has been really important to you uh, this season. You know what's funny, and, and this is a little bit of um, a coincidence, I actually told the team in, in the pregame match uh, meeting um, that I was, I was less emphasizing the result today and more emphasizing our objectives and our processes um, and the things that we worked on this week in training. I just wanted to see those. I gave the team targets to shoot for at halftime, um, and I think just giving the team, other than three points to, to shoot for, um, just giving those those bit of, of of pointers, objectives, like I mentioned, you know, if we tackled those little details, that's what ended up giving us the result in the end. Great, thank you. Um, next, I don't know the other hand up. Hey, I'll I'll jump in. Go ahead, Kyle. Hey, Amy, congratulations on the win. Um, you made a few changes, you know, in the last little bit here and obviously coaching staff and obviously some tactical things as well. But can you speak to how you saw those changes reflected in the second half today? Because not only you mentioned, you know, the offensive impact, but I thought your defensive performance also picked up in the second half there as well, limiting BFC's chances. Yeah, two unforeseen injuries in our back line, um, both Zoe Burns and Lauren Flynn. So we had to make some adjustments there, which I thought players who went on the pitch today um, all of them had a, had a major impact and you know improved the overall game. Um, in our pre-match, I talked about we were going to have a starting 11 that were the openers and that we were going to need closers today. And it didn't matter whether you started on the pitch or on the bench. We were going to need everyone at 100% when they were called upon. Um, and you saw that tonight. And then Kate obviously has that goal there. How fitting is it that she has the first goal of the season for you guys and your first win, and then now she gets the, the second goal and your second win as well? I guess if Kate scores, we win. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, right? Yep. It's a great set-piece goal. I'm so proud of her that she got her head on it. And then when she ran out to the sidelines, you know, it was a great celebration with the whole team. Coach, uh, I'll, I'll jump in here for a quick minute because I also want to ask you, obviously, Kate gets that clutch, clutch goal right there, but I thought the service from Allie on it was pretty remarkable, and, and she's developing a really nice clutch gene, I guess, uh, <laughs> for, for lack of a better term in some ways. Just what is it about her where she seems to get better during the biggest moments, it, it, which is something remarkable for a rookie and one as young as, as she is, I guess? Yeah, I would say, you know, several clutch performances tonight, and Allie, in moments, her set-piece delivery was, was excellent at times. She enabled us to get that, that late goal with Kate on there. Um, and it's moments like that where, you know, you, you play out of, of being a rookie. You don't, you don't play to your name. You play bigger than that. And it's exciting to see. Um, Allie, as, as well as many other players right now, are stepping up into roles, um, rookies or, or, or not. It's, it's just it's a whole team effort. And when you're an expansion team and – you're really digging yourselves out of out of the out of the hole that we've been playing in. Um, you know, it's exciting to see players step up, and and they deserve that win tonight. I'm proud of them. Anyone else? Um, 
Um, yeah. Hi, Amy. Congratulations on the win. I'd love to hear a little bit about um, what you thought about Macy's first start. She looked really comfortable in the midfield, um, definitely helped some movement. So would love to hear about what you thought about her start. Yeah, uh, sliding Macy into the starting position, I think she's done a really good job of coming off the bench for us, um, but we've only seen little glimpses. I think tonight you saw a bigger bigger picture of her, more, more, um, more opportunity for her to see the ball. Um, even though in that first half I didn't think we utilized her as much, you just you still see um, her connectivity with the team, and she's very technical, kind of in those in those midfield pockets. Um, I'd love to see her get on the ball more, turn for us, and find more final passes. Um, I think that's her specialty, and I'm excited to see her growth within this team.